Hi there, and welcome to Summer Reading Crafts. I'm Mr. Eric, and today we are going to have some fun with sponge printing. And let me show you what those look like. So here's one example that I've made. And basically all you need are some sponges and some acrylic paint. Let me show you another one. So what I like about these are uh, they kind of look like a kaleidoscope. So if you have one of those like tubes that you look through and on the other side, you kind of see these cool designs that kind of uh, make a symmetrical pattern. So those are really cool. So I kind of like what we did here. And so I'll show you how to make these. Now here's another one that I made. Now this one is I actually used tempera paint. And as you can see, it does look a little bit um, when you start with it, it does uh, become a little bit watery, so, but it does still work. So um, I would say tempera paint and acrylic paint are uh, the best, but for better results, I would say try acrylic paint if you can, um, and then test that out and see, um, experiment with other types of paints and see what you think could be um, a good substitute for this. So yeah, and so what you're going to need is like I mentioned, acrylic paint or tempera paint. You'll need some sponges. You'll need a pair of scissors to cut out the shapes. And then for your canvas, you're gonna use either a paper plate, which I think works best because you can actually turn it around and kind of spin it. So you can kind of see the kaleidoscope uh, pattern on it. You can also use uh, some white cardstock paper. So that's another option. But I think I will work with some uh, paper plates. So what you're going to do first is, and you also want to have an, a paper plate to use for your paints. So first you're going to grab some, your, uh, some paint, shake it up, and you're going to kind of create a little pattern on your plate to dunk your sponge paint or your sponges on it. So let's do that. So I'm just going to kind of create Just kind of a random uh, design here. All right, let's grab some blue here. All right, all right. So, uh, what you're going to do next is you're going to grab a sponge and you're going to grab your scissors and cut out a shape uh, that you want. Now, to get the kaleidoscope effect just like this, um, what I use is kind of, I just cut out a little triangle just like this, and you just dunk that onto the paint, and then you're gonna basically print it on another plate. And so you're just gonna kind of do a little pattern all around your plate, just like that, okay? So that's what we're gonna do, and let's do that. So what you do is you're gonna dunk your paint, or dunk your sponge into the paint, just like that. And yeah, let's get started. So you just wanna just dunk, uh, stomp, uh, stamp it actually really fast. So just do like little quick patterns. Yeah, so kind of make like that. So, um, yeah, so as you can see, it's not perfect, um, and that's okay, because I actually do like the uh, the style that it, it shows here. So what you can do, let me try another one. So I think I'm going to do like maybe two triangles. Let's do that. So you just kind of cut out a shape here. So two triangles together. So it kind of makes like a, kind of like a little um, a wedge here. And let's grab some plates. And I think I'm gonna use the same paint that I have here. I think we still have plenty of paint. And you can also make other um, designs with paint on another plate. So you don't always have to use the same one, but I think I'll use the same one here. And I'll show you how that looks like. So let's do that. Okay. All right. Just gonna do a little paints all around. Let's 
Ooh, I think I like how this one came out. So let's show you how that one looks. So look at that. So it kind of looks, kind of creates this cool kaleidoscope effect on it, design here. So yeah, so these are really cool and you can also experiment with the sponges and try out different shapes and techniques and see what works best for you. But I like these and these are so fun to make and fun to work with. So yeah, so hopefully you enjoy watching this and you have, a, hopefully you have a lot of fun with these. Um, and yeah, so thanks again for coming for another Summer Reading Crafts and we will see you next time. Have a good day. Goodbye.